Da, 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 da. Ooh, that looks great. Yeah, this is sort of the successful guy, totally relaxed type of vibe, huh? What do you think? I couldn't find a tie that said, sorry, America, so I'm gonna go without. No tie? Saddam didn't wear a tie and they hanged him. Mm. Bitches. Mm. Look, this is Joe Linda, Brent. Okay, let's get crazy. How about skinny suit, fat tie? <gasps> like a bib. See what I told you? If you follow your dreams and do your best, everyone will go out of their way to help you. No, that's not gonna happen. Sweetie, even I don't believe that. <laughs> I, just, I wanna sprinkle you on a donut. <laughs> Brenda, it doesn't matter what you wear, we need to perform some sort of cleansing ritual. As your manager, I'd like to give you a really good leeching. Valerie, are you not paying attention? I'm doing the Joe Linda show. My luck is changing. You did it. One little amulet and you think the curse is lifted? No, 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 no. Come on, Brent. Magic does not work that way. We need a seance. <gasps> a seance! Ooh, like in True Blood. No, this is different. We'll have a real seance. You mm. couldn't get a frog to hop with that True Blood crab. I call off Ayette. Oh, I do like his work. He's a very talented uh -huh. actor. Are you mocking me? No, I'm not mocking you. You know I have complete respect for all that oogity boogity stuff that you do. I'm sorry, there's just so many non-believers out there. Everyone here believes in you, Val. Aw. Well. What? She's your manager, Brent. How can you not believe she has magical powers? Well, nothing personal, Valerie. I just don't believe in magical powers. I'm doing better. Things are going my way. Really? Well, he ran into Joe Linda and managed to wiggle himself onto her show. But his class is more scrotum focused than I was hoping. For. What is this class? Enough. You don't have to believe in spirits to have them ruin your life. We're going to have a seance. And that means everyone. I am about to summon my spirit guide, Anias. From beyond the veil of death, we may meet others from decades or even centuries past. So before I begin, does anyone have to go to the bathroom? Because I'm not stopping. No one. I just went. Anias, I summon you from beyond the veil of death. I'm gay, in case it comes up. Uh, I have a lot of dead uh, relatives, grandparents, great-grandparents. I had uh, a great uncle who was a Civil War colonel, and he was from Tennessee, so I know he would have a big problem with my current lifestyle and my relationship with Keyshawn. But you know what? To hell with them, okay? To hell with them, because I'm proud of myself, and I am proud of who I am, and who I love. All right, come on, we get it. Can we please? Anias, daughter of the moon, I call you. Shouldn't we be sitting boy, girl, boy, girl? Oh, uh, does that really matter? Our souls are gender neutral. They have no sex. <laughs> Uh, sucks for them, huh? Oh, I have a past life remembrance where I'm a peasant girl, but I'm wearing boys' armor, mm -hmm. and I'm leading a French army. It's a little hazy, but I kind of look like the chick from the fifth element. Oh, Mila Jovovich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, are we kidding ourselves here? I mean, what is Anias? Look, when you're dead, you're gone. This life is all we've got. Shakespeare said it. Strut and fret your hour upon the stage, Take your bow and make room for the understudy. Oh, great. Ten years of Hebrew school, wasted. Everybody who is not me, shut up! I am trying to talk to a dead person here. Please respect that. How did you and Anias meet? Let's just say I have a certain arrangement with a life-challenged individual. <laughs> Lafayette, True Blood, oh my god, am I the only one watching this show? Enough! Yeah, but everyone, please be quiet. Thank you, Brett. Yeah, let's just get this over with and get back to doing some not crazy things. Yes. Okay! Seance canceled! Oh. Because you people just think this is all a joke. No, Val. No. I... Val, we're so sorry, please. Brent! 
Or, yes, we're sorry. I'm sorry, Val. Sorry. We really want it. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's do it. Larry, you want a seance, don't you? Yes, uh-huh. I, I really want to have a seance, Val. I promise. I'm as, I'm as serious as brunch. Okay, no more mocking of spirits. And no more true blood references. <sighs> Hear me, Anais. I call to you through the veil of death to guide us in your wisdom. I summon you, Anias, your friend among the living. Valerie, I call to you to aid us. So how long does this take? Shh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! Oh, mm. I'm so sorry. I was I was trying to hold it in. Larry, are you wearing patchouli? Uh huh. Yeah, I make it myself. Hey, since we're stopped, can I just run to the powder room real quick? I just asked you five minutes ago. You sit on it, Golden Eagle. I call upon you, Anias, to come and speak with us here. Come, Anias! She sent me someone. A messenger. She can do that? She must be super powerful. The door is open. Come through to our side. Nobody freak out. <laughs> Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out. Come into our world and tell us what you can of our fates. Ah! 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 Cable go out on you? Oh. Tommy, you scared the heck out of us. Yeah, did I, baby? What's going on in here? It's got a weird Dungeons and Dragons stuff. You into that too, Brent? Oh my god, I was freaking out hard. <laughs> Time for wine. Val? Yes, Athena, yes. What are you doing here? I was looking for Brent. And I've got great news, my friend. I've decided to take you on as a client. Penis unseen. What? Why? He doesn't need an agent. He has a manager. Oh, really? Well, did his manager get him a meeting tomorrow with an Indian billionaire? Because that's how his agent rolls. Billionaire, with a B, as in Brent, or in Booyakasha, which is what I said when I set this all up. Wait a minute, first you don't want to be my agent, then suddenly you do. Now a billionaire wants to see me? Look, don't bother pitching yourself, Brent, it's all true. You're lying. He called you about me. Why would he call you? Maybe he knows who to call in this town. Or maybe left a note on your door and I found it. Who knows how these things happen? Tommy, you're scandalous. And you are talking while I'm doing business, so keep that moneymaker shut one more second. Brent, do we have an agreement? Don't do it. He's evil. Uh, you summoned him. Well, where's my wine? Listen, okay, if the meeting with a billionaire doesn't convince you, how about this? I also got you a job as an actor. Uh, an acting job? A uh, uh, paying acting job? Things are turning around, Brent. And I even got a spot in it for my lady as well. Oh my god! I'm gonna be a clothes-on actress? Like Brent? You, <gasps> you bet your ass, baby. And they don't even care if you make up all your lines. Easiest gig in the world. Well, oh, all right. But Valerie stays my manager. You are now my agent. Looks like Team Spiner just got one bigger. Right. Who's Spiner? That's me. That's my name. Right, yes, right. I knew, yeah, of course. Listen, it's all good. Just get a good night's sleep tonight because tomorrow you're going to talk to a billionaire. Right after the birthday party. I can't wait to... Birthday party? <laughs>